Hello everybody and welcome to my life lately. So today I have, oop, I have such an amazing, exciting haul for you. Um, I have three orders from the Coffee Monsters Co. Two of them are here already. So I will be showing those ones to you guys today and then I will obviously include the third one once that one arrives. But they were all shipping out at the same time like one day I got a notification that my subscription shipped. The next day it was my pre-order and then the following day it was um, the birthday sale. So I have such a fun haul for you guys today and definitely stick around till the very end because that's, that last order is going to be a good one. So the first thing that shipped and arrived was my... Um, is my subscription for quarter three and this was packaged very nicely by Amanda so let's hop right into it so I actually have the subscription where you get both of them so it kind of comes a little later than the other ones because those ones ship first um, that so I just have this one um, let's see you have a little piece of cardboard to keep the envelope on and I think it's so cute that she still includes the envelope even though you aren't technically getting two um, two orders so I think that's super cute and there's nothing in it it's just a basic envelope but it's still so cute Okay, and then, oh, let's see. We're going to save the washi and the fun stuff. I think it's all fun, but that stuff for last. We're going to jump right into this here. And I am so excited for this theme this month. I can't even believe it. So please ignore my ring if you guys are wondering what this gold part is. It's not gold. It's <sighs> so my wedding band is um, or my engagement ring is the exact size it's supposed to be. But because this um, stone is a lot heavier, it slides back and forth. So I have always used one of these like, I don't know what you call them. I don't know. It's just like a... A ring sizer thing because they're both the same size this ring and this ring but it bugs me when this one twists whereas this one I don't even notice that it's twisting um, but yeah and so I need to get I need to change this so if you guys see that this is gold or like a yellowish color that's from the water <laughs> but yeah so please just ignore that it's gonna bug me throughout this whole video if I can see it but I just wanted to warn you guys if you see that that's why um so in in here she kind of includes this little card stock that has a little bit of the theme going on I think this is so cute it's like a breakfast a breakfast theme sort of news I don't I don't know it's so cute um but yeah you get the there's different ones you can subscribe to this is the pen pals which has everything um, otherwise if you just want um, the stickers or if you just want the washi you can do either or and there's even just just washi because if you do the snail parcel you get like you'll get this every month is different but this one you got this and then the roller stamp as well so the bigger ticket items I guess you could say so yeah here's a little cardstock um then we have two little vinyls here both of them are so cute I think I might put this one on the back of my Kindle I don't know we'll see I haven't decorated the back of my Kindle I guess I did just a little bit I used some acetate from sparkly paper co and it was a gold acetate but because it stuck to the white or the clear 
thickness of my case, um, it started to peel. So I flipped it around and used the back side because I ended up liking the black better, at least with the front. So yeah, I might end up putting that in there. But I've definitely gotten a ton of use out of my other bookmark that I received in my subscription last time she sent one out and I don't remember when that one was but yeah so we got a new um, bookmark and for this quarter she actually partnered with two little bees um, and she kind of went into like a little bit more detail of, as to why but basically two little bees is somebody she um, had come to know through the planner community and um, they kind of, in a way, hype each other up. <laughs> so, um, yeah, definitely go to Helen's uh, page to actually hear her um, reasonings to this. This, But I think it is such a wonderful idea to um, team up with other small businesses. So anyway... Um, this is the little washi tape stickers for this quarter. It is like super cute. You have a little stretching emoji, yawn and plop. These ones are really nice because I don't know if you've ever seen her other blob mode um, stickers. They're a lot bigger and these ones are just kind of small and sweet. <laughs> I love it. And then you have the large Sunday morning doodles, which is super super cute um i am obsessed with everything that is on this little sheet and they're all washi um stickers so they blend in really nicely with your page ah i love it and then this month she included some brunch day number doodles so this would be really cute if you had like a monthly kit you could totally use that up with this or you could even make this into a monthly kit I'm sure and then this is the Sunday morning journaling page so I'm really liking like introducing this sort of um, aspect to her shop I know like her shop is mainly doodles like as you can see but having a variety of different kind of things for everybody's taste is really nice and this is just something so beautiful and I definitely love that especially because you know this came in the subscription branching out is really fun to do in something that people you know are exclusive to so that's kind of nice um but yeah I am loving the journaling page stickers here these are all done on washi paper except for this one the number days these are just a very buttery soft sticker so yeah those are the stickers and then in this month we got some sticky notes or a notepad let me check is it a notepad? Nope, it's sticky notes. So that's really cute. These are adorable. Love that. Okay. And then, oh, the next thing is this very fun, exciting stamp. Stamp thing. Oh my goodness. So you get, I've never owned one of these. So you get like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then it looks like some emoji faces. Oh my goodness. And then some fun pens and like a list tracker thing. Basically, everything that's shown here is what's on this and I normally use a Tombow um, brush tip pen to do it on my planner just because I don't like to have um, 
ink seeping through, but there is ink that you can use um, that will um, not seep through. I know people have said um, what color or what inks they use, and I cannot remember off the top of my head. Um, but this is super, super, super cute. I will definitely be swatching this along with the the washies. So let me show you the washies. Um, these are the two uh, bigger washies. You have like the breakfast emojis, and this is such like a subtle yellow. It's not bright. It's not bold. And then you have the florals that she she did with the two little bees. Um, and she did that and then then she's got like the little suns here on the top one with like a white background and then some more florals to go with the two little bees stuff I think it's so cute oh my gosh and there's like little bees throughout it oh my goodness okay we're definitely gonna have to swatch these real quick and I will share with you guys after So to save myself some time, I did use the VersaFine pigment ink for fine details. This is just something I picked up at Michael's. I know that there is, like I'm, I'm, I can picture the ink that people use. It's like a raindrop looking ink, and but I just can't think of the name of it at the moment. But that's the type of ink that most people use for um, using, you know, their Hobonichi um, but this is what the back looks like using the VersaFine. Um, it is quite, like, how do I put it? it? There is quite a bit of bleeding through um, when you use the VersaFine, which is why I don't, I don't use it very often. Um, and I prefer to use my Tombow over the VersaFine pigment just because then I don't have to see the bleed through. Um, <clears throat> But yeah, so that is me testing out the little um, stamper thing here. But yeah, that is fun. It takes some getting used to because as you can see, I'm very crooked and nothing really... <laughs> I mean, maybe a few of them as I went started to like look sort of placed better. Um, but... It was just all over the place. I think this is super cute. They would definitely fit in your weekly for your Hobonichi if that's what you decided to use them for. It looks so cute, you guys. Definitely need some practice with it, but I think it's so fun. And the washies there look so cute. Some of the sons have little face doodles on them. And this little bee washi here also has little gold flecks I think and then this washi up here has gold as well but these are stunning I am in love with them um, so if you definitely like if you didn't get your hands on the subscription I would definitely wait for the subscription leftovers to pick up these washies because they are just stunning I mean look at the yellow with the polka dot bath background it is so pretty. Okay, that's enough um, about the subscription. Um, I am going to go ahead and pull my next uh, little bag of fun <laughs> D 
TMC related items and we will get into the next portion of this video. All right, you guys, so here is package number two. This one arrived the same day as my subscription, so I'm able to film this on the same day. Um, but this was the pre-order that um, meant that, you know, you order it and then you wait a few months before they start to ship out. Um, I believe everything was pre-order, but I can't remember. Maybe there's there was a limit, limited stock, and then maybe that's what I'm thinking. I definitely... Um, waited a little bit to put my order in. I didn't order right away. Um, just because I was <laughs> a little crunched on time that day. But this order was packaged by Koei. I think I say her name right. I hope I say her name right. Um, and this has a ton of washi in it and some goodies up front. But let me go ahead and open this part of the package first. Okay, I had to make sure I didn't have any ink on my hands, but this one is exciting. Um, this is the new little bag that um, she designed, and I'm super excited to see everything that it can fit. I don't need any more bags, I'll be honest, I don't, but the way that she designed this bag was just so so amazing I had to I had to get my hands on it um, there is two side pockets right here one and then two on the inside and then there's also a zipper pocket on the inside as well and for me I thought this would be perfect for when I am traveling um, because I tend to do that quite often and I wanted to have a space where everything can be all in one bag rather than me carrying like four different bags with multiple planners <laughs> because I carry my five-year diary with me when we travel I carry my actual um, a5 and then I carry like my little bag of pens so um, this will be really nice in there is so much you can fit into this it is just insane and then of course because this is my absolute favorite color I had to pick up the murky water little bag as well um, and this one also has a little zipper pocket on the inside as well so yeah um, as you can see size difference here um, I don't think I have one of my other emoji bags with me to share the size difference so give me just a second okay so this is the matcha green one and as far as height they are the exact same but there is like maybe four inches of extra space this way and for wideness I feel as if this will probably be about the same. I'm sure obviously you're going to be able to fit so much more into this one than you would into this one because I can't fit two planners in this one and be able to zip it. So let me see if I can fit both planners into this one and see if I can zip it. Alrighty, so this is my five year diary. I've been doing pretty decent with it. But put that in there just like that and then this is my A5 um, common planner that's what I use every day so it looks like I won't be able to zip it oh yeah no not with the chunkiness of this girl but if I put them in gently this way let's see if they fit I gotta get them over that little zipper here. Hold on. Alrighty, so um, it was getting caught a little bit on the in inside pockets, 
but nothing I couldn't manage, you know, outside of the camera. Um, but yeah, I can fit both planners in here and zip it up just fine. I bet you I could even fit my Kindle in here. My little lovely little Kindle. I'm just going to slide her right in. And you still have, you know, the pocket in the front you could put stuff in. Um, here's my little bag of pens here. It's a little mix of everything. Sorry, I just whacked the camera. But I'm able to stick that in there. And let's see if I can zip it. Do you guys... This is going to be so perfect for traveling. You don't even understand how excited I am. This was definitely worth the purchase. If she picks up, like if she gets different colors, I would definitely be interested in picking up maybe a different color. I'm not too much of a big pink fan, but this is such a subtle pink that I don't mind it. So yeah, um, this thing is enormous and it fits everything, clearly. Um, I won't have any problems. And did you guys see this little tag? Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I just, I just can't. That is amazing. I love that all my stuff can be put into one bag. <laughs> totally worth it for me. Alrighty, so bags aside, let's get into this portion of the video. The good stuff over here. Alright, so because this wasn't um, the subscription, you are given two items and every single order that you make, you get a journaling card and this one says, warning, cute stuff inside. So I love that. This would be really cute if you like put this in your planner, like no joke. I would totally put this in my planner. <laughs> Okay, and then you also get a little freebie here. So this was bought back in, was it June? Yeah, chapter six. This had to have been bought in June. So yeah, I purchased this order in June and we are getting it today. Um, this is the Amodi Stamps Vellum number seven. I have all of the other stamps, so of course I had to pick up this one. Um, I'm not gonna sit here and swatch all of them like I did with the little um, other stamp, just because these ones, um, you basically peel them off and you use like a clear stamper and you know stamp them on your page, but I'll definitely be using this in my journaling today definitely get into that but now let's jump over here to the order um I was rushing okay let me tell you I was rushing I don't remember purchasing two of these I do like once I logged um in and saw my order I saw that I purchased two um but my plan was not to purchase two um I was actually going to purchase two of the woods one um but oops <laughs> that's okay um so I did get two of the um ocean one and then one of the woods this is the Lilo and Stitch one I have the pinkish purple color from like past ones but yeah I I definitely wanted the blue one because blue is my favorite of course um this is like a um mountain scene Kind of like the one she released in the in the past. So, picked up one of these. I picked up shopping. I think it's like shopping spree point three because this would be the third one now. Um, I don't know. I'll have names on them um, towards the end of the video though. And then this is the fruit one with the yellow. A, it's a very soft yellow. It's not super bright. Um, I already looked at that one. Um, I did purchase two of the little, oh, the little sprouts, of course. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's trying to run away from me. Um, because I just 
cannot get enough of the little sprout face. I will probably be using this roll entirely way too quickly. So I definitely needed another for my backup because your girl loves plants. And of course, anything with plants, I was all over. Um, this is the like work one. This had to be like a point two because I know she released something very similar. This was just a little different. I had um, a different foil to it, I believe. And then the fountain pen emojis. This one is a vertical washi love that and then another neighborhood scene this one's super colorful and super fun i love that and then this is a version of the twinkle twinkle i think i'm not sure it looks exactly like one twinkle twinkle and yeah i don't know Yeah, so these are the washies that I received. Let me go ahead and swatch them for you, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so that is the swatches. I went ahead and labeled them all. I also did a new versus old, and as you can see, it is just the slightest bit darker, but not even that noticeable for the Interstellar. So these are the beautiful washies here. Um, I am in love with it. Alrighty, you guys, so this is the last package that I'm going to be including in my subs or my haul video. Um, this one is a super exciting one. You guys will totally understand why I'm so excited about this one. <sighs> because this was kind of like a birthday present to myself, along with quite a bit of washi. Um, but, as you can see, it is a lovely order from the coffee monsters co so we are going to get into the ink after um we open this now i did i did not purchase um more than what i needed from this order i really wanted one of those like expandable um pen holders that she had and the color this time was like a lavender or a lilac color and I thought about it but I was like you know what I just bought two little pouches I really don't need any more and so I held myself back on quite a bit of the release stuff that she gave but um this was packaged by Angela um and I am obsessed with the little bag that she put this in this this time um yeah so we're definitely going to be saving that so i'm gonna pull out the washies first set those aside we can get into this stuff here so i um Every order comes with a journaling card, and this is the one that she had for her um, birthday sale. And this one is just so cute. I love the little heart-shaped earth, or yeah, land. So cute. Um, so that's a little bean card, sorry, not journaling card. Um, and then the freebie for this order was this one. I love the everything shower post and no thanks i think i'm gonna need a lot of those post stickers for sure and the everything showers um but yeah so this is a little freebie that came with this um order now 
on her birthday sale, she always does, like, um, some, like, tiers. So if you spend a certain amount, you get all of the tiers. And I did not spend, like, the top tier amount this time. Um, so I was only able to get or to receive two of the vinyls. This one is the first vinyl. And these are all picked at random, so you don't actually know which ones you're going to get unless you get the very top tier. Then you get every single one of them plus the extras that there was. Um, so this one says unique. And then this one is like a composting vinyl. Super fun. I love that. Um, or recycling. I like that. It's super cute. Okay, so those are the little freebies from the birthday sale order. I don't know if you can see that still. Um, I did purchase a few vinyls for my next year's planners. I don't exactly know how I'm going to be setting up next year's planner, so I wanted to give myself a little bit of variety um, because I went with like the coffee theme for this year and I would love to do that again but I don't want to be redundant so um, I did get the 2025 classic craft um, sticker now this one's not waterproof I don't think but it definitely has like the texture of craft paper and so I got this one because I believe I had this one for last year as well or this I mean 2024 so I got that one and then I got this one which is the um, typewriter and this is the clear vinyl so um, as soon as you take it off it has a clear sticker for it and I do have a place in mind that I'm going to be using this one for um, so that one is kind of already like I already know where it's gonna go I think um, and then this one is the stationary and this is colorful so I actually went with like these two options right here for my next year's planner I don't know which one I'm going to use because I don't really know how I'm setting it up exactly just yet um but I wanted to give myself the option to go with like a neutral theme or a colorful theme so those are the three 2025 stickers that I purchased for my next year's planner um, like I said, I already know where this one's going to go, um, but these two were kind of iffy as far as what I was going to do with them. So, yes, now let's get into the washies. So, this is the Stunning Sunrise washi. This is a 15 millimeter washi with some silver foil. I'll be swatching these for you guys here in a little bit. This is the Sunset Shimmer Washi, which I really like. I am obsessed with her, like, shimmer washies, like the ones that all look like they're just floating in clouds. Um, she's done quite a few different versions of this, like the St Subtle Storm one, um, and, like, Twinkle Twinkle, um... And just the other day, I got the Interstellar washi. So, like, she's, I mean, she's done quite a few versions of this. There's even, like, a rainbow one that I have. Um, so, I am hooked on every single one of them that she comes out with. So, I did purchase one of each of those. And then I did get the Dusk Clutter washi. Now, this one is a 13 millimeter rather than a 15 so it is a little bit smaller than um the sunset shimmers this is just a little little um thinner rather than as wide and chunky this is like your average washi tape size so this one's just a bit smaller so let's go ahead and swatch these and um yeah <laughs> I am using my 
B6 common planner because I have failed miserably um, with this planner. So I just swatched those ones earlier for you. Um, and now I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these ones. Um, I'm debating, do I just put it all in the same one? Maybe I can do that. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw it all on the same page. One thing I noticed about the desk clutter um, washi tape is if you can't tell, this is where the next portion starts. So it's almost the size of like an A5, a honestly, if, and maybe I'm wrong, maybe just a little smaller. So this is the B6, right? Um, but like if you go across here, Everything is all different until you get to the end and it's literally like the, the end. I don't know how to explain it. I think it looks so cute that like nothing's repeating itself. So like here you can see these two repeat. Then this is kind of where it starts a new one. And with this one, I believe it was like the pink one starts right after. So like this one, um, here is where like the next portion starts. So it's like the same thing. Um, oh, well, technically, never mind. So it's like that. Um, so having like, I don't know how to explain it. It just to me, it's it's nice not having like so many repeats. So like this, you can barely tell, you know, this is how long the washi strip technically would be. And then everything repeats itself. But yeah, so for, for the new washies here, this has like a gold, um, gold flakes in it. And then the stunning sunrise, um, I went to write shimmer and I was wrong, um, has silver and then the desk clutter has a very neutral background which I really like I love these three like that I don't know why I love the white background it's so pretty um but yeah so those are the washi tapes that I got in this order now I'm going to go ahead and jump over to my ink swatch area and the last time I swatched anything was when I bought the Ferris Wheel Press colors and you guys, I haven't really bought any new inks since then. Um, I did want to buy new inks for my birthday, but when I found out, like, or technically for my birthday, I wanted to buy new inks, but um, then I got all the washies and I was like well that's a treat to myself that was a lot of washi and then I realized that Helen was going to release two inks and I was like yep sold I those are the inks that I'm going to get for myself for my birthday so we are gonna go ahead and swatch them using this page here I have kind of put this on here a while back and now I have two new inks to add to my 2024 ink collection. <laughs> I thought I would get more inks this year, but I did not. So the two inks here are Day to Night and Coffee Monster. Both are from Robert Oster. Um, I've never used any of Robert Oster fountain pen inks, so I am excited to jump into a new brand um let me get rid of some of this stuff over here maybe let's 
I'll just stick it up far enough um, to where I want it. I do have two pens that I will be inking up with these two inks. Um, I have taken ink out of them and flushed them, cleaned them, and I think they're dry now. So let's go check it out. Alrighty. So I grabbed some supplies. I grabbed this um, Q-tip. I grabbed the two pens that I want to ink up. We are gonna give this Twisby one more shot, okay? So I have mentioned this probably in a previous video, but this pen um, skips every once in a while. So I want to try a different ink with it. Um, I used to have Noodlers, something black. And then after that, I had the Diamine Onyx or something like that. And every time... Um, I would use it it would skip so I think honestly it has something to do with the nib itself maybe the nib is um, wrecked when it fell um, it's very possible I don't remember you know honestly this is my first ever fountain pen so I could have totally screwed it up myself but we're gonna try it um, to see if it'll work this time um, and then the other pen that I have is the Esbean, um, P30. This is the, um, piston filler. It's also got a fine nib, so both of these have fine nibs. I was planning on doing the Coffee Monster in the Esbean one, and the Day to Night in the, um, the Eco White with the Rose Gold. Um, so I'm praying that maybe a different type of ink might help this one out, um, but if it starts to skip and doesn't properly write, I'm just going to assume that it's the, the pen itself and I will give um, the day to night ink a different shot with a different pen, okay? And both of these are fine pens because I'm pretty sure these don't have a shimmer in them is from what I what I know what I'm aware of um, so we will see um, <coughs> let's start by swatching them oh my goodness I also have my dirty dirty or my ink covered rag just in case so we're going to go ahead and swatch the day tonight. Oh, now that's pretty. I can't tell why it it's darker here. Did I just that that ended up looking really cool, not going to lie. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and flip the this over and get the coffee monster. that is such a nice brown oh my goodness ah, that's like pure coffee color oh that makes me happy and this ferris wheel press is a lot lighter as you can see um in comparison so i can't wait to see how it writes um oh this makes me so happy okay i'm gonna go ahead and ink these up real quick and yeah we'll get into the swatching just set that there. Alrighty, so I have 
went ahead and inked up the pens. Now let me check to see if these are dry enough. I mean, I don't really care if I end up with ink all over myself, but that is what the back looks like currently. I mean, of course, every swatch is going to look like that, um, but it, this brown did bleed through to this side. Um, so we'll see how everything kind of goes here. We're gonna start with the brown. And the brown is called Day, or no, Coffee Monster. That's right. Okay, I can't, I can't put the pen on there. is Coffee Monster and I'm using the it's Vien P oh that's supposed to be a P P 30 in a fine nib so now for all of the fountain pen people they do I have no idea something like this <laughs> don't come for me I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> and then they do this to see you know how it, I don't know I don't know they do that <laughs> I've seen a couple videos but I could you know very well be wrong but that is such a beautiful color you guys I do not see any like sheen no I mean I don't really know how to describe inks you guys I'm very new to the fountain pen community but I don't see any like shimmer is what I'm trying to say which I ap appreciate with some beautiful colors because now I can feel better about inking up my fine nib pens with um, some color without having to worry about them um, getting ruined. Okay, this second one is day to night. So let's hope and pray that this eco um, Twisby does some magic here. Gosh, that is so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna spell Twisby wrong, I think. Hold on. Oh, no, I'm not. Okay, I just wanted to make sure I was spelling it right. This is, tw oh, see, you guys. <laughs> I promise you, I graduated. You wouldn't know, but I did. This is the Eco. It does have a scratchy nib, or like as I'm, um, writing I can feel it scratchy but the like it's like watery like it's a very liquidy ink I don't I'm, <laughs> you guys don't come for me please um, but like it's so smooth that I don't think I'm gonna have any issues having this ink in this pen that likes to skip oh my goodness you guys I don't know if I'm just crazy or if you guys can see this too but like oh I don't think you can see that the way that this part dried here let's see if I can Do that oh I didn't even do that with 
with these ones yet. So let me go ahead and do that. Uh oh, there we go. Like, there's like a shading to it. Is that the right word for that? There's no shimmer, but there's like shading to it. So like, this is such a light pink with the purple. I don't know. That is just so cool. Oh, my bad. Okay, but yeah, no, I am so excited to start journaling with two new beautiful colors for the fall season. I mean, this couldn't have come at a more perfect time. We're going into fall, of course, cozy coffee color. And then if I wanted to do something a little bit more bold I feel like that this this purple is just the right amount of color for me to be like yup that that gives me fall vibes I don't know why am I am I the only one here okay everybody so I think that is going to be it for today's video um if you watched it all the way through Make sure you hit the like button. Let me know in the comments down below if you went ahead and purchased the inks that Helen has introduced for her birthday sale. Uh, if she does any more inks, I swear I'm gonna, I'm gonna, my mind is gonna be blown because this was just an amazing surprise. I loved that she did inks this year. Definitely checked off a bucket list item for me to get more inks this year and I am in love with them. I think they are beautiful. Yes, purple is not really my favorite color, but I'm going to get so much use out of it just because it's a pretty shade, especially like looking at, you know, the letters here. Very pretty. And I think with my eco being the way that it was, this might be the perfect um, match for that pen given the fact that it skips every once in a while so I think this was just a wonderful 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 birthday present to myself <laughs> I don't know let me know in the comments down below if you guys got some of her inks um and yeah I hope to see you guys in my next video if you're not already subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified every time I make an upload and after that, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!